It was actually difficult finding an original file, like on Final Draft. Uh, the film is, is like a this is like a decade old film. That's why it's weird if you look at the title page because we had a separate just Microsoft Word title page that we actually used when we did print up, you know, copies of it. So that's why it looks a lot. And of course, it's also uh, a shooting script, so you see a lot of asterisks and it may, you may see it in red, different colors. And the there were, are there were, yeah, there were a lot of, um, and that's part of the reason why I kind of wanted to do this because it seemed like the group was kind of interested in seeing what happens to a regular script when you've got the final draft, you know, then it really becomes just a blueprint and, you know, things can go in so many different directions depending on what gets attached to the film and you go into pre-production, depending on what actors you have, what locations. Um, I also want to mention uh, that I co-wrote this script um, uh, with my buddy Sean, who is still in Los Angeles. Uh, so it's not 100% me, it's you know, basically like 50% me. So. You said the theme was emotional blockage? Pretty much, yeah. How it manifests itself physically in a traffic jam? Well, it's just, you know, when you're yeah. driving, when you're driving and you're going somewhere and you're, you're, you're maybe you're thinking, but you're not, like, um, processing. you're not processing, yeah, you're not, like, um, thinking deeply with whoever you're next to, for the most part, um, or you're on the phone or, or whatever, but, like, if you're stuck, you're kind of forced, I mean, you're, you're spending a few hours there, uh, and you're not the moving forward. Direction. Yeah, you're not moving forward to whatever, wherever you're going, so now you're thinking about stuff that's going on in your life. So you guys purposely, the two writers, you, you and your writing partner, purposely named both writers after each other? Pretty yeah, much. pretty much. Yeah. I was gonna be, I was gonna, I was gonna act in it, but yeah, good. I actually wanted to change the name, but Sean really wanted to keep my name in there for whatever reason. Really? I guess it's a part of the original script, so. We just left it in. It's fun that way for us. <laughs> so you, you know the inside. <laughs> Regarding your script, I like the opening. The, the kid with the little match box cards. You know, you know, you know, yeah. How'd you come up with that idea? That's great. I was a kid. I, I used to play with matchbox <laughs> cars. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so was yeah. Sean, you know. Because yeah. yeah. um, I, I, I read it, you know, the opening scene. Okay. Really well with that. Sometimes in Woody Allen movies, um, when he's doing like some sort of comedy slash drama, he'll have breaking the fourth wall kind yes, of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wall, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's like a character that uh, actually Sean came up with him. Um, just somebody who was, uh, and it's a buddy of his from uh, who now lives in Pennsylvania, but um, and he wanted his credit in the film to actually be the hitchhiker, so it was kind of funny. He's walking along with the dog that goes with the family and he's uh, talking to the dog. So it's like, he's talking to the dog, but in real life he's talking to the fourth wall, to the audience. Um, and he's kind of just philosophizing, he's like a philosophizer. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, he's kind of putting a gloss over what's taking place in the traffic jam. Because he doesn't even have a car, he's just walking, he's just walking through. I, I just wonder about so many characters. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like short stories yes. put together. Yeah, which is There's a tiny arc. Some of them have a much stronger Some arc. arc. Yeah. Obviously, it would be perfect if every arc had, you know, was, was you know, yeah. perfectly lined up. And you, you don't have to have an yeah. arc for every character. Yeah. But I, I, we, we were thinking of the whole piece as kind of a big arc they all kind of right. all go through good. together, sort yeah. of. Um, they all sort of accomplish something in the traffic jam, right. basically. you got the Hitman group. Right. Well, the two hitmen characters are supposed to take out the guy in the back seat. He lucked out because they found out, because they're sitting there in traffic, that they found out that he wasn't there for whatever the thing is. We didn't really get too far into it, but basically, yeah, he got know. off. Yeah. By, you know, he, he didn't get killed, you know, because of the traffic jam. You never know what's, what, you know, what's going to take place or what you're going to find out. You know. Sometimes it's good to smell the roses, you know, stop and smell the roses. It's, that was part of a conscious thought on theme too. It's like we're all racing and that's like how it's set up with the producer driving very quickly and 
which is very typical in Los Angeles, uh, you know, speeding through up the freeway because they got to get somewhere and they got to speak to somebody and they got deals going and they just got to get to the office. Yeah. And yeah. People don't think about where they're going, who's in front of them, who's next to them. They're just on the go. Yeah, you're invisible. You know, and, and that's so what we wanted to try to, that's kind of the message we wanted to say is people to slow down. And it's kind of funny because I was on my, I was rushing to get here. <laughs> it, it is a comedy, isn't it? It's a dramatic comedy. It's, dramatic comedy. I don't like the term dramedy. I hate, I kind of hate that. I, I like saying dramatic comedy. Dramedy just makes it sound cheesy. I don't know. <laughs> My buddy actually uses it, but um, I don't care for it.